Detroit, Michigan, Motown is the setting for the Suns. The most feared man on the court with the ball in his hand. Kevin Durant simply cannot be stopped. He'll be leading the way for his team as they game plan for the task ahead at Little Caesars Arena. Suns Pistons. We'll be right back after this. Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. With Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony alongside, I'm Kevin Harlan at the table. And from the sidelines, it's our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Taking a look at Detroit, they're down in ninth place so far, still early in the season. And I think for the Pistons, they've shown me some very good things this season. But that next step, those qualities that could make them true contenders, just haven't been there. And the clock is ticking for them to make that push. It's looking like they'll be fighting for a spot in the play-in. So the opening lineup for the Suns. The big three for the Suns, all on the floor. Booker and Beal as the guards, and KD at the four. Then there's Yusuf Nurkic, and it's a Kogi in at the three, the small forward. And for the Pistons, sliding into the wing spots, it's Ivy and Thompson. Duran out there with Isaiah Stewart, and it's Cunningham in at the one. Well, how long does all of your off-season rest usually last you at the start of the regular season? Like, like, when do you start to really feel the games again? You know, the fatigue comes at you fast, Kevin. So that rested feeling only lasts about a couple weeks. Nothing wears you out like playing NBA ball. Inside. During the pass to Stewart. Here's Ivy. And it's off from three-point range. And now here's Nurkic. He'll bring it up for the Suns, coming off that loss against Philadelphia. Scoring efficiency was an issue in that one. Took them too many shots to get their points. Yeah, it looked like they were settling out there, not moving the ball enough to generate the type of shots that they wanted. And so it's the Suns getting on the board first. Stewart kicks to Cunningham. And that's a foul called on Bradley Beal. That's his first foul. And that's a quick foul for him there. It looks like the refs are going to call this one pretty close. And here's Stewart. 11 points for him in that last game against the Pelicans in New Orleans. Durant against Stewart. And Katie, the bucket on the assist from Booker. And the handles from Durant are downright filthy, using him to cut up the defense there with ease. Now, here's Cunningham. He's coming off a 22-point game against New Orleans. And even if you took away his points, he was still an offensive force because of his passing. His assist numbers were tremendous. That was a good look for him from mid-range, but just couldn't make the defense pay. Outside, Beal. Here's Nurkic. Booker against Stewart. Shot clock at six. Booker, no good. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. Cunningham gets the bucket. And I like how composed Cunningham is. Let's the game and his shots come to him. And GA, in your opinion, what's the main order of business when you look at the first-year Pistons coaching staff? Kevin, for me, it's they got to clean up the foul. It's often a problem for young teams, but they have the quickness and size to stay in front of people and just force contested shots. Here is Cunningham. Devin Booker picking up that last basket. They set the pick. Thompson passes to Durant. 
And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. The Pistons shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. And last season, 77% from the line. They could usually get the job done there. That's good from Durham. Last season, GA, the Suns trading tons of picks, plus good young players, all for Kevin Durant. And then this summer, trading for Bradley Beal, it's clear they're going all in, constructing a super team to try and bring Phoenix its first NBA title. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. RJ, the Suns have been to the playoffs three of the last four years. Kevin, they have a star-studded roster led by Beal, Booker, and KD. They are going to be a problem in the West for years to come. Now here's Beal. A shot off that time. Cunningham against Booker. Passes it to Duran. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Up high to stop the alley-oop. Oh, and the playmaking of Ivy on full display. Outside, Beal. From 10 feet out, and it's wide right. It's off the rim. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. Cunningham, a screen on Beal. Ivy passes to Duran. Cunningham outside. And Detroit again with the bucket. And you can play Cunningham on the ball off the ball he's really a generational talent partly because of his versatility here's a Kogi nothing on the board Booker outside oh he blocked it and deflects off the backboard Cunningham with it pass to Stewart Here's Ivy. A three-pointer off the mark. The Suns trailing. Here's Booker. Outside Durant. Over Stewart. And there's KD. That's good on the assist from Booker. Durant's got six. And Durant's jumper is as pure as it gets. You just assume ahead of time it's going in. Booker against Cunningham. To the paint. Here's Durant. The shot, no good. Great D that time from Nurkic. Booker against Cunningham. Outside for KD. No good on the triple. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Here we see the Detroit Pistons, Greg, a franchise known for stifling defense. And going back to back with the Bad Boys, then the amazing 2004 title team that shut down Shaq and Kobe. When the Pistons have been great, they've had that defense first mentality. And that one falls for Ivy. Lots of excitement around the Suns. A big reason, Richard, their new owner. Yeah, taking over in 2023. This new owner played college basketball, winning a national title, and has a great mind for the game, and already has made big changes in the organization. The Suns making a switch here. Gordon's checked in, and so he's able to get one of two. The first thing people mention about Ivy is that explosiveness. The, the first step allows him to get downhill and really makes him effective in those ISO situations. Durant kicks to Gordon. Back to KD. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Richard, it's absolutely amazing what Durant can do on the floor on a consistent basis. He's got the height and the size to play inside, the skill to run the offense. He's just a freak out there. Two shots.
Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. You look at Durant's game, and you instantly see all the hours of hard work that went into shaping it. He's so polished in every area. His skills are so sharp. Jason Allen's checked in for Phoenix. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. Some big guys struggle at the line, not him. He's put in the work to defy that assumption. Now Stewart. Still yet to score. Thompson finds Stewart. Back to Thompson. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. This game against Detroit here, it's their first meeting of the season. And last season, they made short work of this club. Two games, two wins. These guys are looking forward to this year now, putting last season behind them. So it's the Pistons now after the Suns pick up two. Stewart with the screen on Allen. Here's Ivy. Detroit, no good that time either. See, what a rough quarter for him. Nothing seemingly going his way. Spins to the inside. KD passes to Nurkic. Shot by Gordon, wide open. No good on the three. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. Cunningham kicks to Stewart. Pass to Thompson. He can't get that one to fall. Great D that time from Nurkic. Cunningham against Allen. Booker looking around. Good on the three-point shot. Now it's a six-point Suns lead. Making room for himself. Booker using the pick and roll to great effect. And the Pistons decide to take their first timeout right here. To check out stats for Durant. Last season he played outstanding and a great touch around the rim. Top 15 in field goal percentage. And back to his free throw shooting percentage, second in the league. I never saw lapses in his concentration at all. Always completely focused, completely automatic. Cunningham finds Ivy. To stop the run, and it's good for two. That's a guy you want taking shots. A quality offensive player. Booker the pass to Nurkic. Back to Booker. Over Cunningham. Booker no good. Pistons trail by four. Now here's Ivy. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against New Orleans. And we have to mention his rebound. It wasn't all about the offense. He battled his tail off down low. Great awareness by Thompson, wanting to find his open teammates whenever he can. Here's Booker, and he drives in right through the D for the layup. Booker's got seven points in the game. Okay, that's a tough bucket. D on him as tight as possible, but you're not going to stop this guy from getting to the rim. Stewart with the screen on Gordon. And Stewart gets it to go. One thing I really like about Asar Thompson, he's a team-first guy, always willing to make the extra pass. Now here's Booker. He has seven. And there's the pass to Nurkic. Wow! Cunningham passes to Ivy. Now, here's Stewart. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Thompson for the triple. Nailed from three-point land. We know how good Thompson is with the ball in his hands, but he can get fire as well. Allen against Ivy. This one for three. Allen shot is off. They hold the early advantage on the glass. There's the three. The shot by Ivy, no good. And it's just one of those days, guys. He has just struggled to shoot the basketball. No good from Durant. And it's Cunningham with the ball for the Detroit Pistons. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. you got to give them an A for effort. Just 
and maybe if they were at home, their fans could have given them the boost they needed to get over the top. Here's Booker following the bucket by the Pistons. And it's Durant, that time on the assist from Booker. Booker's got three assists in the game. Detroit's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Cunningham, a screen on Allen, down low. Cunningham gets the bucket. Cunningham's got six. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Allen outside. Booker is screen on Ivy. Allen dishes to Nurkic. Kicks to KD. Jacks up a three. Rebound by the Pistons. Durin's got six rebounds in the game. Ivy against KD. Pass to Durin. Thompson for three. Buries the long-range jumper. And now a five-point Piston lead. If he develops a consistent three-point shot in his first few years, Thompson's going to be scared. Nurkic set the pick for Durant. He wants to get it to Nurkic and does. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. Cunningham looking it over. Thompson up top, defended by Gordon. Here's Durant. Rebound by Nurkic. Nurkic has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Yeah, they got that one, but early on, it's, it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. Now, here's Durant. Coming off 31 points last game, and it's in there. Now, just a one-point Detroit lead. <laughs> the elevated playmaking of Durant. Passes like that really bring the team closer together. Stewart with a screen on Booker. Cunningham with it. Guarded now by Durant. Yes, that goes in. He's got eight. Cunningham against Booker. Over Cunningham. And the Suns tack on two more. Throw out those analytics. When Booker is taking a 15, 20-footer, that's a great look for him and his squad. Puts up a deep three. Oh, and the buzzer! That is how you finish it. Yeah. Wow, what a way to finish up the quarter. Yeah, that's one 100 type shot. But hey, that is why you just throw it up there. And so it's Cade Cunningham making things happen for the Pistons. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Pistons. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. And the other thing I've been impressed with, guys, is their assertiveness at attacking the paint, trying to hunt for those high percentage looks. Suns trail by four. On the court right now, second quarter starting for the Suns. That court bear will be Beal and Booker. Duran is out there with Gordon, and it's Bull in at the five spot. Outside for Beal. Six to shoot. Bull setting the pick for Beal. Brooks pulls it in. Detroit leading by four. Cunningham outside, driving to the basket. Heisman and Durant sends it back. We've seen Durant really improve as a defender, using his impressive length to block shots. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest, going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Here's Cunningham. Suns trail by four. Outside, KD. Booker left side. Bagley with the block. 
and a skilled shot blocker to boot. Love how Bagley uses that height and reach to stifle shooters. Yeah, how about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboards right now? Some hard-earned second-chance points. Now here's Wiseman. No scoring in this one. Burks kicks to Cunningham. Harris a screen on Beal. Down to five on the shot clock. Detroit, no good that time either. And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for Phoenix. They get to take on the Bulls at Chicago after this one. That'll be the third game of this three-game road trip. And that one is good from Bradley Beal. And people thought Beal was just a shooter out of college, but he rounded out his game when he learned how to finish through contact. Now, here's Burks. Cunningham, left shot. Great touch on the 16-footer. Cunningham's got 13. And he's made his mark on offense especially. They've got to be thankful he's on their squad. And the wait is now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, Kevin, thanks very much. You know, Devin Booker has a take on load management. He says, I'm not a part of that. I spend a lot of time in the summer making sure my body can take that load on. I want to be out there doing what I have to to help the team. That's how I've always been, and I haven't lost sight of those kids up in the stands that might be seeing me for the first time. Kevin, back to you. I like that perspective, D.A., thanks. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Talking about Bradley Beal, Greg, I feel like he doesn't get enough credit for his passing game. You know, Kevin, he's really evolved as a playmaker over the years. Sure, we, we all know how talented a scorer and shooter he is, but Bradley is now superb at facilitating. Stewart's checked in for the Pistons. Thompson comes in for Joe Hill. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. And a big concern for players and coaches is the consistency of officiating. Greg, do you like that argument? It's tough when one night something is a foul and the next night it isn't. There's some gray area, obviously, and it'd be good for the league to try and clarify how they want things called. Here's Paige Diop. Outside Gordon. Phoenix needs to get off a shot, launches it, and he's good on the three ball. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Cunningham outside. Shoots over Beal. That's in, and the Suns lead is cut down to just one on the basket from Cunningham. Cunningham is not shy about mixing it up down low. He's got a great feel around the rim. Beal against Cunningham. Beal deciding where to go with it. And G.A. for Bradley Beal. Finally a chance to contend with these Phoenix Suns. Yeah, for so long, folks wondered how long he would was in a losing situation in D.C. Now he has an opportunity to play into June. And he makes the first. And now a veteran in this league, Beal is hungry to compete for championships at this stage of his career. Devin Booker, he's checked in for the Suns. And so he hits both. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Deal against Cunningham. Thompson outside. He dishes it to Weissman. Good. Nice job down low. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. The Suns leading. Pass to Okogie. Back to Beal. To the middle. Here's Booker. And the dunk by Booker. And we've kind of come to expect this performance from Booker every night. His scoring is just that consistent. Thompson finds Cunningham. 
Looks over Beal, and the Pistons getting another bucket right there. And it's the Suns with the ball. Booker outside. Shoots over Burks. Booker no good. For Detroit, they've gone 4 of 8 so far here in the second quarter. Cunningham inside. Working on Booker. Cunningham's shot is off. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for Phoenix. A three. Wiseman with the rebound. Yeah, that's a shame because I'm not sure the defense will let him get a shot that good again very soon. And here's Burks. Hasn't made one yet. As to Stewart. Nice pass. Right into the rack perfectly for the layup. They are just killing him on the interior. Beal, the pass to Okogi. Booker with it for three. Phoenix, no good that time either. Burks against Booker. Wiseman dishes to Thompson. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. What I appreciated about Thompson is his recognition. He knows when to force the issue and when to pull back. The Pistons have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And just like his twin brother, Amon, Asir Thompson is an elite athlete, can do anything on the floor. Someone you pay to watch. Duran, he's checked in for James Wiseman. Phoenix also making some changes. Eubanks, he's checked in for Bowl. And Durant subbed in for Kata bates Dia. And so Thompson nails both of them. Suns trail by three. The pass to Eubanks. He kicks it to KD. There's the triple. So smooth on the three from Durant. The range KD possesses makes him a constant threat outside. The defense has to be all over him. Booker against Burks. Passes it to Durant. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. Beal, the pass to Eubanks. Durant in the corner. It's hauled in by Stewart. The Pistons have gone 6 of 11 from the floor. Over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. Cunningham drives in. Great D that time from Beal. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Down low. And there's KD. That's good on the assist by Booker. Durant's got it all tied up now for the Suns. The Piston shooting at 50% in a decent groove. Cunningham against Beal. Burks on the wing. Thompson outside. Flying his what from deep. No basket. Missed number five out of his eight shots. the wing Booker Burks covering over Thompson and it's Phoenix scoring again well Durant must be making the defense sweat a little bit right now whenever he gets into a rhythm he gets aggressive Thompson passes to Cunningham that's in coming off the assist from Thompson Thompson's got four assists in the game Guys, seven times the lead has changed hands here now. Yeah, and that number should easily top double figures before it's over. Here's a Kogi, still without a basket. Pick up, pick up, pick up. To the paint, and then Durant with the dunk. What an athletic play by Durant. This man, what can't he do? Detroit's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Stewart with the screen on Beal. Cunningham passes to Stewart. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Outside, KD. 
Nice ball movement by Phoenix. A baseline J, and it's Phoenix scoring again. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. We've seen Kevin Durant really having a great game. And he's been taking it to the rack all game, and they haven't been able to contain him. They have to put up better fight on the inside. So for the Pistons, Ivy's checked in for Alec Burks, and Hayes subbed in for Cunningham. And a change for the Suns. Allen's checked in. Pass to Stewart. Here's Thompson. Rocket six. And there's the call on Durant. That is his first foul of the game. Okay, Cunningham's checked in for the Pistons. And then for Phoenix, Yusuf Nurkic comes in for Eubanks. And Beal subbed in for Allen. Here's Durant. He's got eight. Stewart kicks to Ivy. That's a two from Cunningham. Rebound by Nurkic. Norkic has got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to Booker. Here's a Kogi. Outside Durant. Detroit with the rebound. Stewart's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Cunningham with it. He's got 20. Five on the clock. They set the screen. Let's it fly. He brings it as the shot clock ticks down. Cunningham's got 11 here in this quarter alone. And I love how Cunningham dictates the pace. You can't speed this guy up. He forces you to play at his speed. Oh, Richard, the speed with which Devin Booker has accumulated points in his career. Is absolutely stunning. Yeah, he's the sixth youngest player to hit 12,000 career points. And trust me, that list has Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant. I mean, this guy is a true natural scorer. Putting the ball in the hoop is like second nature for Devin Booker. Both free throws good from Booker. When Devin Booker steps on the court, you almost expect 30 or 40 point nights. Booker is that talented. Now here's Thompson. He's coming off a 16 point game against the Pelicans in New Orleans. And he made a living at the line as well. Got there over and over and did some damage. Phoenix has gone two of four from three point range so far in the second quarter. Now the pass to KD. Hits it from three-point range. KD's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Suns. Cunningham against Booker. Here's Stewart. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Stewart's got the game tied up here for the Pistons. He saw a path to the rim, and he took it. The defense just couldn't stop it. Durant drawing the double team. Here's Booker. Detroit with the rebound. Thompson, high post. He's got 10. Booker against Cunningham. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It goes on Devin Booker. Gotta respect that Cunningham takes charge, making something happen and drawing the contact. Detroit shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Two shots. The first one falls. And it's easy to see why so many are so high on Cunningham, a talented guard who can do a little bit of everything. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Outside, Beal. 
Passes to Nurkic. Let's it go with a three. That's good. And so Beal with the assist. Beal's got three assists now in this one. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. Pulls up. High post. Cunningham gets the bucket. Cunningham's got 26 points. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. Booker against Cunningham. Here's Durant. And Nurkic gets it to go. Nurkic has got five points now in the quarter. You think a bop is going to stop Nurkic? Well, we're talking about a guy who has come back from major injuries. A resolute attitude. And that's it for the first half of action in what's been a very close game here. Suns lead by one. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much here with Frank Vogel. Coach, the points coming with regularity in that first half. What's been the key? We're playing with a high offensive motor. We're screening through physicality. We're cutting hard. We're moving the basketball. We're getting the shots for And it's showing on the floor, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. Welcome to halftime, and guys, so far the game has belonged to Kevin Durant. Man, I just love his attitude that's always up there and always just great. He's mixing it up down there, really taking it to the defense. He's got a few moves he can go in there. It's hard to slow him down once he's cooking. And now we turn our attention to the Western Conference standings here in the early going. Taking a look here now at Phoenix, they knew they'd be in for a rough start. The question is, do they have the tools to turn it around? The front office will tell you, yes, but they're the ones who assembled the team. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Guard spots filled by Cunningham and Ivy. Thompson is up there with Isaiah Stewart, and it's Duran in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the group for Detroit right now. Yeah, that's too good a look to give them from behind the arc. Cunningham kicks to Ivy. Here's Cunningham. Back to Ivy. Out to Thompson. Pass to Stewart. Takes a three. Rebound by a Kogi. That is not a guy you want to allow open hooks for range. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. No one had more success at the foul line last season than this group of players. Kevin Durant is second. He was locked and loaded from the free throw line all season. Never suffered through any real lulls in that department. First free throw is good. Oh, 
Both free throws good from Booker. Pistons trail by six. Pass to Cunningham. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Here's a look at the stats for Devin Booker. Coming off a terrific season. Last season, 27 points per. Five assists and four rebounds. And you look at his huge role in their offense, a major contributor as far as putting up points. He's just a natural scorer and someone this offense leans on to help shoulder the load and lead the charge. And he knocks down the first one. And so Cunningham nails both of them. Phoenix leading by four. And while we've got a moment, I'd send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. The transfer of the Phoenix Suns last season to new ownership ended a tumultuous chapter for the team and for the league. The new leadership aggressively made the trade for Kevin Durant last year and for Bradley Beal this summer. It's a great roster and the Suns' $4 billion sales price reflects the sense that this Phoenix market is one of the sleeping giants in the NBA. Kevin? I agree. On the rise. David, thanks. Booker finds Beal. Phoenix, no good that time either. And so it's Cunningham. They'll bring it up for Detroit. Following this one, they get to host the Warriors. And that game is the second of two straight at home. Good D by Booker. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Here's Akogi. He's covered by Thompson. Nurkic just screen on Thompson. Takes a step back. Six on the shot clock. Outside for KD. Over Stewart. And Durant gets it to go. That's now 32 points for Kevin Durant. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. No doubt. That's the kind of play that can energize the whole team, and they will take it in a close game like this. Trains the three-pointer. He's been dominant all game long. Nobody on the floor can stop him. And look, let's just say he knows it. Cunningham against Booker. And the pass to Durham. It's not going to go for him. Great D that time from Nurkic. Cunningham against Booker. Durant drawing the double team. For three, a Kogi. Detroit with the rebound. Stewart's got his fifth rebound in this one. Cunningham with it. Now guarded by Booker. Here's Durant. And Durant slams it in. That's just good fundamentals from Cunningham. When a guy is that open, you got to get it to him. Outside, Beal. Booker with the screen for Beal. Passes it to Durant. Three-pointer. That's good. And so Beal with the assist. Beal's got his fifth assist in this one. Pistons trail by six. Now a timeout called by Detroit. We've seen Kevin Durant really having a great game. And he's on fire from beyond the arc there. It's time to start shaping their game plan around stopping this long-range assault. Cunningham outside. Good D by Booker. Outstanding work to send him away. They sniff that one out. Beal the pass to KD. The second effort. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. Pass to Ivy. Back to Cunningham. Pistons passing it around. And 
with that shot, the Suns' lead is cut down to just four points with a bucket from Stewart. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. Nurkic a screen on Ivy. Beal from long range. Duran pulls it in. Duran's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. That's a two from Cunningham. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Beal against Ivy. And Beal kicks to Booker. Here's Durant. Nurkic trying to get open. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Phoenix. The name of the game in the modern NBA is making threes. Space in the court, and that's exactly what they are doing tonight. And the other thing that stands out is just how well they have moved the ball. Everyone's touching it and having a chance to create. Pistons trail by seven. Now Cunningham. He's got 32. Over Booker, cans the 12-footer. Cunningham's got eight points in the quarter. He's been a bright spot in their play today, but he could really use some help. Here's Booker. Duran pulls it in. Duran's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Inside, here's Cunningham, and then Cunningham with the dunk. And you can see why they continue to call Cunningham's double. Once he's flipped that switch, let him go to work. Here's a Kogi. He has yet to score. They double team KD. Beal, the pass to Nurkic. That's good. And so Beal with the assist. And the Suns lead by five. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their four leader. No doubt. That's the kind of play that can energize the whole team, and they will take it in a close game like this. And here are the Suns now. After the basket by Detroit. A Kogi, the pass to Nurkic. Double team on Nurkic. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And here we go. The Pistons fast break. Ivy kicks to Cunningham. Pass to Stewart. Dishes it to Ivy. Six to shoot. Cunningham inside. He's covered by Beal. The shot by Stewart with no one around. And he hits it to tie the game up. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Outside Durant. Durant drawing the double team. And that's going to be too many steps. That's the whistle on the travel. And that is an absolute heartbreaker of a turnover. In a close game like this, that might be enough to impact how it ends. Hayes, he's checked in for Detroit. Gordon's checked in for Phoenix. Now here's Hayes. How a timeout called by Detroit. this chance let's show you the league's most intimidating shot blocking defenses from last season the Suns fifth a big part of their defense really revolved around their ability to block shots at the rim it's so valuable to have that kind of backline protection it allows you to be aggressive on the perimeter and it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score just great ball movement Booker up top. Ivy defending. They need this. Puts the move on. Booker's shot is good. Booker's got it all tied up now for the Suns. There is no chance that this game is tied up without his offensive firepower. Stewart finds Thompson. Back to Stewart. Thompson against Gordon. Shoots it, and it's blocked by Gordon. 
And now, here comes Gordon leading the break. Here's Beal. Another one falls for Phoenix. Determined to produce. Beal plays with such desire on offense, always searching for the next shot. Now here's Higgins. Here's Stewart. Nails the baby hook. Stewart's got seven points for the quarter. Phoenix has gone three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. Here's KD. Rebound by the Pistons. Stewart's got his sixth rebound on the night. Ivy dishes to Thompson. Back to Ivy. And stolen by Booker. Fast break. Here come the Suns. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Just bouncing off a of contact. Booker putting in work in that weight room. Ivy passes to Hayes. And here is Duran. He's guarded by Nurkic. Back to Hayes. There's the pass to Stewart. Five to shoot. Here's Ivy. And another three for Detroit. Hey, you know Ivy loves to find that shot. The defense has to be more careful with him at the arc. Passes to Nurkic. Outside, Katie. And Durant gets double team. 17-foot shot on the way. That's no good, but only his first miss in six shots. Pass to Ivy. To Ivy, the pass to Stewart. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Passes it to Ivy. Fires the three. And the rebound by Nurkic. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for the Suns. Outside Gordon. Back to Beal. Booker against Ivy. Booker right side. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Booker's got eight points in the quarter. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. Pass to Thompson. Back to Hayes. To the inside. And Thompson gets it to go in on the assist by Hayes. Thompson's got 12 in the game. An explosive player. Thompson has serious leaping ability, and that comes in handy around the basket. Hits the three-point bomb. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now, here's Stewart. He's got 15. And Thompson kicks to Stewart. Pass to Ivan. Stewart, a screen for Ivy. And the rebound by Nurkic. Nurkic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. To the paint. Booker's shot is good. Booker's got 10 points here in the second half. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high-percentage shots, playing smart with the lead. Now, here's Ivy. Durant with the steal. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for the Sun. He's raised his three-point total to six now. A lot of points from beyond the arc. And we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break.
And a quick look now at the State Farm. I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Not just playing selflessly, but also making a smart decision with the ball. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ball game. So with Durant sitting on the bench, this is who Frank Vogel is out there. At the guard spots, we'll see the star pair of Beal and Booker. Then there's Gordon. Then there's Bull. And it's a Kogi in at the four-man position. Suns leading by four. Beal with it. Now defended by Cunningham. A Kogi misses. Detroit's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. The Sun shooting, certainly a key for them in this one. 55% from the field. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Ivan Bagley picks one up. And this is what Beal does. He, he puts pressure on the defenders and makes them compromise when he does. Beal, two shots. And the first one drops. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. And both free throws good for Beal. Here's Cunningham. Feeds to Bagley. Out to Harris. Looking for Wiseman. He gets it there. Yep, right through the net. Cutting into that deficit now. Well within striking distance. A stop or two in the next minute or so, and they could even this game up. Great job to keep battling. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Cunningham for three. The second effort. That's in, and the Suns' lead is cut down now to just two on the basket from Wiseman. You just can't teach size and length, and Wiseman beats everyone to the ball for that second chance opportunity. The old finds Booker, and the dunk by Booker. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. The pass to Beal. Here's a Kogi. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Beal from long range. Another three for Phoenix. And he's been much more assertive here in the second half. Getting to his spots, executing with ease. To the middle. Here's Weissman. It's hauled in by the Suns. Look, I'll give him an A for effort for trying to dunk through the defense, but maybe he should ease up on that one just a little bit. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Man, this has been a fun one, but look, who doesn't love a high scoring game? Here is Cunningham after Eric Gordon's bucket. Yep, that one goes in there. Cunningham's got 40 points. He is just self-willing, his team right now, doing everything he can to keep them alive. Back to Booker. Makes it off the glass. Booker's got the lead up to nine now for Phoenix. Crafty play by Booker inside, navigating to a point-blink look at the basket. Cunningham passes to Wiseman. Beal against Cunningham. Shot clock at six. Bagley with a screen on Beal. Here's Cunningham. And it's Bradley Beal with the rebound. Phoenix leading by nine. Inside. Here's Booker. Another one falls for Phoenix. Instantaneous offense. Booker gets the hot pass and quickly has that shot in the air. Burks against Booker. Harris dishes to Weisman. Bagley in the post. 
It's good. Well, that's the kind of toughness Bagley needs to show on every possession. Shake off the contact and finish through it. Timeout called. The Suns. Durin, he's checked in for Wiseman. And the Suns also making a change. Yusuf Nurkic, he's checked in for Bradley Beal. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. During that break, Frank Vogel had some real words for his team. He told his players, I love the energy right now. You look like you're having fun out there. Keep playing for each other because our chemistry looks great right now. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. So it's Detroit now. Phoenix able to drain the three. Here's Cunningham. No good. Good D by Booker. Here's a Kogi, guarded by Harris. Chalk up two there. Booker's got 18 points now here in the second half. They try to make things hard for Booker inside, but he has the moves to get around that contest. Harris kicks to Cunningham. Over Booker. Rebound by the Suns. Norkic has got 11 rebounds in the game. And if they want to mount a comeback here, they need him to get going. It's just that simple. Now here's Gordon. Pole is screen on Burks. 14 feet away, and it's Gordon missing. Pistons trail by 14. Cunningham finds Harris. And here is Duran. Cunningham outside. Over Booker. Rebound by the Suns. Norkic has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Here's a Kogi. Norkic a screen on Harris. With the drive. And the basket by a Kogi. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. Really putting the bigger defender on his heels. I love seeing aggressive finishes like that. The offensive rebound. No other way to put it. Just a rough quarter in terms of scoring. He has not been helping at all. Bowl setting the pick for Gordon. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. You know, Greg, on a per-minute basis, Bowl Bowl is one of the better rebounders and shot blockers in the NBA. Yeah, and it's not all done on the inside. He grabs a lot of long rebounds, and he contests shots on the perimeter. This guy is more than capable out there. Greg is a guy that led the offense, a floor general. Do you think we're in the golden era of point guards? Kevin, it's hard to say. I mean, the 80s had Magic and Isaiah. The, the 90s had Stockton and Peyton. The 2000s with Nash and Kidd. But this era is deep. You got Curry, Lillard, Doncic, Morant. And, of course, CP3 is still going. Duran pulls it in. Pistons trail by 17. Cunningham outside. Over Beal. Cunningham's shot is off. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. And we continue to see Beal improve as a playmaker. Beautiful pass there. Cunningham against Beal. Cunningham outside. Stewart with the screen on Beal. Here's Cunningham. Here's Stewart. Slammed home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. Adley Beal picks one up. Just a fantastic decision maker. Cunningham giving it up in that two-man set. Akogi's checked in for Bull Bull. Stewart. Isaiah Stewart. One shot. And Stewart, no good on that one. Suns leading by 17. Down low. A stupendous finish in traffic. 13 points for Beal. Defense has Beal well covered inside, but he can get aggressive and fights his way through for that shot. Stewart with a screen on Beal. 
Ivy against Beal. Here's the screen. Here he goes. Here's Stewart. Off target from three-point range. And so Booker will bring it up for the Suns. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin in the game. So polished from the interior. Durant is terrific at utilizing his physical advantages down on the block. Here's Ivy. After the made shot from KD. Cunningham left side. The shot from the low post is good. Cunningham's got 42 in the game. Phoenix has gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Booker the pass to Nurkic. The dish to KD. No good from outside. Pistons trailed by 19. And here's Cunningham. Pass to Ivan. Back to Cunningham. No good that time. Good D by Booker. Durant with it. Now defended by Cunningham. For three, a Kogi. Rebounded by the Pistons. Ivy with it. To the paint. Here's Durant. And there's the big time jam as he slams it right over Nurkic. And if you try to block his shot, you risk getting posterized because he is good at using that height to his advantage. Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Suns leading by 17. Takes it inside. That one drops for him. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Now a timeout called by Detroit. And so it's Detroit with the ball. Thompson passes to Cunningham. Driving inside. Good D by Booker. Well, Phoenix shooting percentage, 59%. The offense is running smoothly. Pass to Nurkic. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. And it's Beal in the corner. Pass to Okogi. Now Kevin Durant. Misses the three. Cunningham on the wing. To the middle. Here's Duran. And Duran slams it in. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. And the pass to Okogi. Back to Booker. We've got 148 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Cunningham with some nice D. Passes it to Stewart from outside the arc. That's in, coming off the assist from Cunningham. Stewart's got 12 points here in the second half. Booker outside. Over Cunningham. A nice shot by Booker. And the Suns lead by 16. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Suns. And guys, the fast break was run, I thought, beautifully all night by these guys. I think that was a big part of their success. Yeah, they definitely ran the break well. A big advantage in that category. And they continually put pressure on the defense. And every win important. And this one will go down as win number three. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series. And they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for KD. We certainly got to see his best effort on offense, attacking the defense without fear and grabbing a lot of buckets. Here's Cunningham after the made shot from KD. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Cunningham. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. And a different look here for the Pistons. 
Marvin Bagley's checked in for Stewart. Harris comes in for Thompson. Burks, he's checked in for Ivy. And Hayes subbed in for Cade Cunningham. Here's Bates Diop. 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And the foul on Alec Burks. That is his first foul of the game. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Out to the right wing. Bates Diop, the pass to Gordon. Drills it from outside. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and see it again. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. Oh, Kevin, not a Petty, not a Manny, but a face. Oh, a bounce to the ounce, Greg? Yeah, showing off the bunnies. And so it's Phoenix easily grabbing this one. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Bradley. Big win tonight. It looked like you guys had great offensive flow. How did you accomplish that? This is the most fun we had all year yeah, by far. I mean, the ball was moving on offense, and we were playing great team defense and, and getting out on the break and scoring. And when you're scoring that many points, it's always fun. Offense puts people in the seats and keeps players happy. Congratulations, Bradley. Back to you, Kevin. All right, DA, thanks again. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. And now our New Balance player of the game, Kevin Durant.